Hey everyone, this is John the Watch Concierge and today I'm going to be reviewing this watch from my collection. This is the Gallant Classic Series. This is a brand I came across on Amazon for just around $25, $30 at most I think I might have paid. But uh, yeah, really good watch. I think for the price there's a lot worse quality watches so they definitely did a good job on this one. If you look at the dial there, you got three complications, the day, the date, and a day and night indicator, which a lot of people might confuse for a, a moon phase, but you can tell that there's the sun, and then there's the moon and the stars on one side. And there's also very nicely applied Roman numerals and indices, as well as the gallant logo on the 12 o'clock. And really nice blue hands as well with the seconds hand kind of having a little bit of differentiation with the red tip there. And I think it kind of stands out and looks nice with the rest of the watch. And you can see also on the dial it says 50 meters water resistant and it is quartz. So this has got a Japanese quartz movement and you've got a screw down case back, which is good, but it is a dress watch, so it doesn't really matter. Although I do prefer screw down case back, which sometimes the quartz watches just don't come with that. They come usually with the pop off case back, which is a pain sometimes to pop back on. And so you also have nicely kind of laser printed Gallant logo there. And very interesting lugs as you can see different than most watches kind of has like a vintage style but uh yeah just a simple but elegant dress watch you can see there's a kind of onion crown as well although it could be a little bit bigger i think but still easy to kind of just pop out and change the time hands do move quite easily maybe not exactly with the rotation of the crown a little delay but not that big of a deal and there is as you can see hacking and you got a blue kind of fake sapphire cabochon on there and you got an all polished case which looks decent but nothing special i think with these lugs and this kind of style of watch typically it's fine some watches do look a little bit cheaper if they are all polished and it says here stainless steel back so that means the case might not be all stainless steel and that's reasonable because for 25 dollars or so you don't really expect a stainless steel case and you got decent leather straps definitely not the best but of course not the worst either you got Gallant on one strap there and then the other just genuine leather. And it does feel a little bit flimsy on this side here, but yeah, I mean for, you know, for $25, I, I don't have much to complain about. And you got the Gallant name on the buckle as well, which is nicely engraved. But uh, yeah, no sapphire crystal, which is also expected. And you got a case size of 42 millimeters, although it wears more like a 40 millimeters, to be honest. So if you look on here, it's almost look the same size as this watch, which is a 40 millimeters. But 10.5 millimeters case thickness. So definitely not thick, not chunky. I think a good size watch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to say about this watch. I do love those Lance style hands, kind of like a Alangansuna hands, very common on those uh, Alangansuna watches. And so really cool, but um, not that special of a watch. So I think I will put it up for sale. And yeah, thank you for watching the video and let me know if you have any comments. Make sure to subscribe, like, share the video and check
check out all the other videos on my channel. And I hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Take care.